Hey everybody, Steve here. We're back and uh, this video we're going to talk about uh, a new tool that I got, a new meter uh, that will help in getting uh, more accurate readings. Um, we're going to talk about uh, the next video that I'm going to do is going to have the initial mileage results from the booster on my vehicle that uh, we've been waiting. Everybody's been patient, including me. Uh, seeing the results on that, that next video, not this one, the next one, but it's coming up. Um, like I said, I've been leaving comments saying, hey, I'm doing miles tests and stuff like that. Uh, so we're going to take a look at it and see what they are. Um, pretty interesting. Uh, so let's take a look at my newest toy. And no, it's not the wooden spoon. It's the, uh, the new clamp-on meter. And this new clamp-on meter is from Suntech. Uh, has true RMS capability, uh, clamp on meter, um, 600 volts AC maximum input, and I think it's like 600 volts DC maximum. Yep. And the cool thing is, is it'll do DC current up to 600 amps. Uh, continuity testing, volts, the whole nine yards, uh, over range protection. Uh, I mean, it's just just looks really good. And basically, um, pick this up at Harbor Freight, uh, yeah, because I'm cheap and don't have that much money, but it was like $69, and because some people were asking me, and even myself, on the booster, I've got it running, as the original Smack booster, uh, I've been using the analog di digital meter, uh, analog meter for getting the amps, and people were wondering, well, how accurate are these readings? And I, even in my own videos, I said, you know, there's there is that margin of error because I am using a uh, an analog meter. So let me see if I can get this dead on. So you can see it's just just past 22 and I'll clip on this side and we got 23 23.2 I'd say. Let me put it on this side and see what it says. Again, 23.3, because you remember there's a there's a little shunt in here, but still, let me see if I can get that, see how it's just passed, just past the 22 mark, so it's 23, so that's pretty accurate, but we'll be able to get some bigger, uh, more accurate numbers with this thing, um, and that's, uh, yeah, so you see we're getting consistent readings here, and uh, it's tested out pretty good. Um, so anyway, yeah, pick that up, and uh, it's a lot better than than buying uh, those one or two hundred dollar ones. You know, if you can afford that, that's fine. But uh, I really want to get some some more accurate readings, especially with the results that I got off the mileage test, which you'll see in the next video. And you can see it's only about a couple, maybe about one and a half inches wide by you know as big as my hand. And, you know what they say about big hands, you need big gloves. Um, so anyway, that's it. And uh, let's see, some other things. Uh, there we go, I'm trying to get the light so I can, don't blind the camera. And some other things we want to look at. Uh, people have been uh, leaving some comments uh, in regards to, well this stuff doesn't work. Um, <clears throat> That's fine. When I ask these people if they have built, tried, and tested to confirm that this hydroxy stuff doesn't work, um, I haven't had anybody say that they have. Um, mostly what I get is, as you can, there's probably a bunch of you out there seeing, you get people that say, no, it doesn't work, and I'm a scientist, engineer, who's he, whatever guy. And uh, you know what? If you haven't tested it and tried it yourself and verified and confirmed that this stuff either works or it doesn't, uh, then you're just kind of just making a lot of noise. Uh, for instance, there was a guy who, who left some comments that, that did a bunch of math, and math isn't my really strong suit, but this guy left a bunch of math and he says, see, I proved that H, this hydroxy stuff doesn't work. Um, math and my math and science proves, you know, and if you can't disprove my math, then that means that this hydroxy stuff doesn't work. Um, you know what? That might make you feel good inside, but let's consider this. Um, science and math, basically math, 
says that the bumblebee cannot fly, that it's impossible. But yet you see a lot of bumblebees flying around. Okay, so we need to take take our knowledge and take what we think we know with a grain of salt and test it and confirm it. Um, either that or you need to go tell the bumblebee and say, hey, here's the math, you're not supposed to fly. And so the bumblebee will say, oh, okay, uh, <laughs> what was I thinking? I'm sorry, I'll just crawl around from now on. Um, so anyway, it's back to having fun. Okay, uh, it's back to uh, testing this stuff, enjoying, having a good time. And if you want to be negative, that's cool. That's up to you. That's a choice that you have to make, you know. Um, but I'm kind of going to be like the bumblebee. I'm going to keep flying around. I'm going to keep testing this stuff out because the results, the initial results I have gotten are encouraging to say the least. And uh, it requires more study and research. That's what it comes down to. I'm not saying that my test results are all-inclusive or the silver bullet that nails it. But rather, it's a starting point to say, yeah, there is something going on, and uh, we need to do more testing and trials and uh, to see see what it is. Okay. Um, so anyway, that's it. The next video that I'm going to do will have my mileage test results from the booster in the truck, and we'll take a look and see what that uh, what that comes out to be. And I tell you. Well, we'll save it for the next video. But it's encouraging news and to keep me engaged and going on to the next level. Let's just put it that way. So anyway, that's it. Uh, God bless, peace, and we'll catch you later.